I think the DMV probably has the best basketball in the country. I'll say that. She's six one inch. She can play, like I said earlier, all three levels: three ball, mid mid range, get to the paint. She's dynamic in the sense too that she can guard multiple positions. In the back, hit, 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 downhill, go. Good, good, tough, tough. So some of the big accomplishments in my high school career were being Gatorade National Basketball Player of the Year, Gatorade National Female Athlete of the Year, three times gold medalist, McDonald's All-American MVP, Jordan Brand Classic, DC Gatorade Soccer Player of the Year, twice actually. I was on the number one high school basketball team in the country. Yes, I know DC has the best ballers for sure. My name is Kiki Rice, I'm a collegiate basketball player, and this is No Days Off. Hit, 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 hit. Hey, go. There we go. When I really decided that, all right, like I want to take this really seriously, I want to play pro, I want to play in college, I really started focusing on getting in the weight room for sure and then also making sure that outside of practice I was getting in like multiple individual workouts a week. So it would be team practice, 6 a.m. weights before school, make sure I was getting that in. And then after practice, I'd have my own workout. And so that's just what it took to kind of separate myself from my peers. And it was tough, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, that just means I didn't have a ton of time to hang out with friends. It was, you know, staying up late doing schoolwork because that was also something that was still important to me. So it was just a decision that I had to make if I really wanted to separate myself. My name is Olin Simplis. I've been doing player development for 25, 26 years. Worked from kids all the way from eight years of age all the way to the WNBA, NBA level. It's a passion, it's a dream, love what I do. And we just filmed one of the next ups, one of the next stars in the game. I started playing basketball when I was five years old. In the beginning when I started playing, it was basically all street ball, playing with my family. I started playing organized basketball pretty soon because I wanted that competitiveness, I wanted to be on the team. Um, well, first and foremost, her size makes her special at the point guard position. She has that drive to get better. You know, I've watched her from afar. Love her energy, love her passion. Like even today, she wanted to continue working out doing the shoot because she knew she was getting a good workout. So that's real special at an early age. The most important trait that a point guard needs to have is leadership. You know, this being my first year in college, you learn that in order to win these tough games, you need leaders on the court. And I think as a point guard, you really have to bring that. And outside of that, I think you have to be able to make your teammates better, whether that's driving, creating, open shots for them, or be able to knock down the shots, just whatever your team needs, but you have to be able to make your teammates better. I'd say my dad really helped me develop my love for the game. I think he played in college, and having a role model like him who was able to encourage me and just teach me so much about the game was, was something that I really valued. Uh, my teammates are really, the reason why I chose these two is it's, I really just connected super well with each and every one of the girls on the team. Like you spend, we spend so much time together, honestly. Like we're, we're together all the time, especially when we go on road trips. So I think having a great connection with your teammates on and off the court is really what makes your, your experience so special. Let's see my game. Uh, I would say I'm a downhill attacker. I love the open court ability to push the ball and create for my teammates and a winner. I think discipline, commitment, and dedication are extremely important kind of traits and qualities that you need to have in order to be the best in whatever field you're in. It doesn't have to be just sports. I definitely have a ton of my family members who served in the military. My grandfather on my dad's side, he was Tuskegee Airman, and then my grandfather on my mom's side was a surgeon who served two tours in Vietnam. The discipline and commitment and ability to like see hard things, continue to help others are definitely qualities that, that they got learned from the military. The way that my parents were raised uh, and the influence that the military had on their parents really, you know, it affected me for sure. After basketball, I actually, I still want to work in basketball. <laughs> I hope to, you know, in the future sometime be, uh, you know, the first female general manager of an NBA team. And I think continuing to work in the sports industry, the area that I'm most passionate about would be something really special to me and I'd hope to continue to do so. For me, no days off means consistency and consistency in everything you do. So attacking every day with mentality of how can I get better. Thanks to everyone for watching my video. To check out more stories like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.